Hi guys, David Fine here from Keys Moz, and I have a really cool video for you today. This is my horse flesh mahogany tree in my front yard. It's just a little tiny little tree. I keep it really trimmed really nicely. And the reason I keep it really trimmed is because every time I trim it, it puts out new growth like this, which is the host plant and the caterpillar host plant for the pink spot sulfur, lyso, uh, um, frissa nellies. Now, it's a rare bug, really cool bug to have in your yard in South Florida. Um, the pink spot sulfur is not one that many people know about, not many people see. It's actually a recent, recently discovered species that lives here in Florida because of the import of this exotic um, legume tree that is its larval host plant from the Bahamas. But guys, today, I'm gonna show you something that I witnessed really cool and I got it on video. I saw a female pink spot sulfur flying by and I wanna show you how sensitive the smell is and taste, smell and taste of a butterfly. So the female uses smell to find her host plant and then taste to find out where she's gonna put her eggs. I'm gonna show you all about that in this video. Hope you like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna show you a lot more about the butterflies and moths of South Florida and their anatomy. Guys, let's get to the video. All right, there is a female pink spot sulfur over here by the road. I'm just went, here's her host plant right here, horse flesh mahogany. She just flew that way. I wanna see, she's flying by. I wanna see if she can pick up the smell of this horse flesh mahogany as she's flying by. The wind is actually blowing from this way to that way. She just flew that way. Here she comes, look, 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 look. She smells it, she smells it. Here she comes. Now she's up over my house, look. I guarantee you she's gonna drop right down and start laying eggs, look at this. Oh my gosh, how freaking cool is that? Guys, that shows you just how sensitive the, the smell receptors are on the antennae of a female butterfly. She's like, how does this thing make odor that much, that sensitive? These things must be so sensitive, how the antennae pick up the specific chemical makeup of their host plant. This is a, a horse flesh mahogany tree. It's uh, Lysoloma habiku. Where'd she go? Is she here? Oh, there she is, there she is. Where'd she go, where'd she go, where'd she go? And here she is, look, she's laying eggs right now, guys. Look, there she is. This is the pink spot sulfur, the frissa nellies, and the whole idea was I wanted to see if, if a female sulfur was flying by, would she smell the host plant? And when would she smell the host plant? Because she was east of us, which is that way. And she was flying by like literally right up the parallel with the road here. But the wind is blowing that way. So if she's gonna smell the chemicals from this plant, the wind would be pushing them that way. So as the butterfly flew down the road like that, eventually there was a place where she picked up the chemical smell from her host plant. She made a U-turn, came right back, and, and now she's laying eggs on my, on my tree. Now, this tree just pushed out all new growth and Lysoloma habiku, or the horse flesh mahogany, the leaves get very hard, very quick. So literally on the same stem, on the same stem, these are the new leaves that are kind of reddish in color. Right up here, these leaves are unpalatable for the larvae of the pink spot sulfur. And so that's like literally four nodules up. This is one, two, three, and then here's the new stuff. I believe the, the caterpillars of this uh, larvae, I'm sorry, I believe the caterpillars of this butterfly would only eat this stuff right here when they're hatchlings and maybe, maybe the second nodule of leaves when the caterpillars are larger, but they will not eat the third one. They are just gonna eat 
this right here. And then what they would do is they would eat, eat this right here. And then once they get to here, they can't eat it. So what they have to do is they have to crawl up the plant and find, that guy's a flat tire. Uh, they have to find another new stem. So now the problem is with these guys is this female, since she found this plant, it's been about three minutes. She hasn't stopped laying eggs on the plant. She's on the other side of the tree. And un unfortunately what she'll do is she will lay upwards of a hundred eggs, I would imagine, on this one tree. And so that's kind of a problem because there, 100 caterpillars can't go through their life cycle on these few little tiny new new growth. It, you know, if they, if they could eat all of the plant, it would be different, but they can't. All they can do is eat this little tiny new stems, the new little marrow stems. That's all they eat. So they eat themselves out of house and home real quick. And then what, what they wind up doing is becoming very cannibalistic because they wind up running out of food that's edible, but they can eat each other. She's very nervous. She keeps coming in, tasting, 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 tasting the leaves. She's not spending a whole lot of time laying eggs though. Ooh, she just landed. She just landed in my... Uh, bay tree here. Let me see if I can get close to her. All right, so for whatever reason, this pink spot sulfur is not jumping to laying eggs. I mean, she's laid a couple, I think, but she's doing more tasting than anything. She's going all the way around tasting all these different plants. But this is her host plant right here. So she's being very particular where she's dropping her eggs. A lot of investigating. Is she gonna lay here or what? She's gonna go back to the bay tree. I don't know what, she, what interest she has with the bay. She's just tasting right now. She's tasting. They taste with their feet. Did you know that guys? Butterflies taste with their feet. So she's going and touching the leaves of the different plants. She smells the host plant. The host plant's right here, right? So she's tasting, she'll land real quick, taste the plant with her feet. And nope, that's not it. No, I don't know what she's doing here. But this is her host plant right here. But she has a she has a very interesting fascination with this bay tree. This is swamp bay. This that's your host plant, lady. So I don't know what you're doing. So the the, the smell receptors must be so sensitive, guys. Now she's landed over here on this Barbados cherry. Now she just flew again. The smell receptors must be so sensitive, guys, that when she's around her host plant she must be overwhelmed with the smell because of how close she is to it so that means she's they, they don't they're not picking the host plant by vision they're picking it by scent so she's around here all the nearby plants which are not her host plant she's tasting 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 trying to figure out where the smell is coming from because she's got to be very very specific where she drops her eggs or, the, or her young will not be able to live they won't be able to feed. Yeah, so this bay tree is part of the laurel family. It's a swamp bay. It's actually the host plant for the spice bush swallowtail down here in the swamps of South Florida. So that is a cool uh, plant to have in my yard. One day I'm gonna raise the spice bush swallowtail. Uh, not today though. Well guys, uh, let me see if I can zoom in real quick. This pink spot female is getting busy laying eggs. She's starting to pepper the tree with eggs. There's a couple right there. These two little, let's see if I can zoom in real quick. Those two little white spots right there, those are eggs. And she is going to town on 
this plant. And so, unfortunately, she's been at it. She just took a little break and flew away. Let me see if there's any here. I don't see any there. She just took a little break, but yeah, there's, there's uh, two eggs right here, right there. She took a little break. However, if she keeps at it, this plant will for sure not have enough foliage, edible foliage for the caterpillars to finish their life cycle. So they're gonna wind up being cannibals unless I do something about it. Cause I'd like to raise as many as I can. So there's a couple eggs on that stem. There's a couple eggs, a couple eggs on this stem. And she knows exactly where to drop them. You're not going to find eggs anywhere else on this whole plant other than just the newest, newest little stems of the plant. That's the only place she'll drop eggs. Is a little tiny white egg right there, right on the very tip of the new growth. It's amazing how they can tell exactly where to put those eggs. Look at that. Two of them right there. One, two. So, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something about the sense, just how sensitive the smell is, or the smell receptors of the female butterfly as she's looking to lay eggs. Look how specific she is where she drops these eggs. That's all done by smell, guys. So she tastes with her feet. She first, she smells with her antennae, finds the plant, then she comes and she comes around tastes all the all the plants in the neighboring area finding out exactly where the host plant is that she needs to lay eggs she hones in on the host plant she tastes taste 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 and eventually finds the new growth where her caterpillars will be happy so uh that's where she lays her eggs hope you like the video don't forget to like the video give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and we're going to show you all kinds of cool stuff about butterflies of South Florida. Uh, maybe I'll do a little bit more of a video on uh, some more videos on the whole life cycle of the pink spot sulfur. Here are her eggs. You guys, let's enjoy South Florida and let's enjoy our butterflies in our butterfly gardens. Till next time, guys. Take care.